Good morning, Rob Parkey here from Peach Business Software. Today I'm here to introduce you to Peach Online and also known as Trade Connect and show you some ways in which to use it to save you time and money when dealing with your suppliers. By now your supplier would have given you a username and password along with the address. The address is www.peachonline.net forward slash iPad. Ideally you would run Peach Online on either a portable uh, device such as a tablet or a PC. It can run on any of those devices as long as they're connected to the internet. I uh, wouldn't recommend you run it on a phone. The smallest device we see that it's comfortably run on is an iPad mini uh, with a similar ratio to that screen. Once you've browsed to peachonline.net iPad, uh, you'll see the login screen come up if you already use Peach Online for other suppliers, then you would simply drop down, go to the top and add new supplier. Uh, otherwise, you just go straight into the username, put in the username password and then verify. And once you do that, it'll come up with the login and then click login and it'll start to open up Peach Online for you. So once you've logged into Peach Online and it's fully loaded, by the way, uh, when it's loading in Peach Online, you'll see some little computer screens up here in the top right flicker on and off. That means it's connecting. If they stop and you start to get a timer here, uh, then probably best to contact Peach Support or your supplier and just make sure uh, everything's working as normal. Uh, you may need to change some settings in your browser uh, for it to work. If you're not using it in a Chrome browser, uh, perhaps you can try that before contacting support. Okay. Depending on the settings from the supplier, you'll get some tabs across the top here, and we're going to go through those different tabs uh, during this presentation. First of all, it may open on the info tab. So the info tab is here uh, so that the company that you're logging into can uh, send you a splash page here and maybe some new announcement of a product range. Uh, but down on the left-hand side here, uh, it may be uh, media events, uh, a diary for the company, it may be uh, new product releases from the company, it may even be technical information regarding some of the product lines that they sell. So that's the info tab. Okay, so going across to the left hand side here we can go to the products tab. Here you can search a product by either a part number, if you know the start of a part number you can start searching by that, or you can use keywords. Keywords can be any three word strings uh, the, in any combination to find the product. So let's just try one. Uh, if we go uh, into keyword search and we type in 12V uh, and uh, let's say for example 70A, so that's a 12 volt 70 amp and we might be looking for a relay search and it comes up with all the 12 volt 70 amp relays in the supplier's product file. So that's a nice easy way to find a product. The other way you can find a product is by searching the part number. So if you know the start of a part number, uh, you can type in that and it will come up with all the products starting with that. And you'll notice here six items are in the screen, page one of page one. So uh, if you come up with more search results than can be held in the first page, you, you'll get some navigation keys here to move forward and back to the different pages. Another way you can search for products is by category. So uh, let's say, for example, uh, industrial products, and we can go to a subcategory, uh, let's go fasteners, and we come up with some fasteners here. So that's another great way to zero in on the products that you're actually looking for uh, in the supplier's file. Um, the next tab will be the Oscar or the catalog tab, which may be either the supplier's own catalog or the Oscar tab, uh, but there are a lot of products that you may be searching for that are actually not in those catalogs. So this is the best way to find the products if in fact they're not in those other tabs. So moving on from the product tab, let's go and have a look at the Oscar tab. Now, as I said, this could be the customer, the supplier's own catalog, or it could be the Oscar catalog, depending on what industry your supplier is in. So let's have a quick look if we go to make, uh, model and then we'll just pick the first one of the bunch uh, we'll get the vehicles that we're searching for we go to view and it'll come up with a list of products 
which are in the service parts uh, category. And you'll see here that you've got uh, in green, the products that the supplier has in their product file. Uh, if it's in red, which you can see down here, that's products that they have available to them. And if there's no result at all, it's products that they have not added to their file yet. Now, in any case, if you get these results and you want to make an inquiry, you just have to click on the little envelope there and it'll send those details with an email to the supplier. Looking at the results that have come up, it's showing you that the supplier has more than 10 in stock. In some cases, a supplier may be indicating to you with a Y or an N, yes or no, it's in stock. They may indicate to you exactly how many they've got in stock or a minimum quantity plus. Uh, you can see the recommended retail price here and you can see the supplier's price to you, your net price. Uh, to order that product now, you just simply go to view and you can see a larger picture of the product. Uh, you can see technical notes, you can make an inquiry, or you can simply put in a quantity and add to the order. So once you add that to the order, it hasn't sent it off to the supplier yet. Uh, all it's done is it's sent it into the supply tab. So again, back there. So there you have it, that's the Oscar tab. And as I said, it may be the supplier's own catalogue as well. Okay, so from there, let's go to the My Account tab and just have a look at uh, your details. So these are your details with the supplier you've logged into, uh, your account situation, your details. If you need to change any of these, please contact your supplier directly. And you can see from here all your prior invoices and you can even view and reprint those invoices if you wish. I'll just click close there. Uh, but you can also look at quotes that are in the system for you uh, and also orders that are in progress for yourself. Uh, and remember that as soon as the order had the supplier has been converted to an invoice, it will disappear off this screen. Uh, so also with invoices, you can just choose to see all the unpaid invoices, which is very handy. You can view parts, find transactions, back orders, pricing, so have a little play with that when you get a chance. Uh, but that's the accounts tab. Okay, so going from the accounts back to the order tab. So in here, this is where you've added products to your order from the various other tabs. And it's all held in here and it's not been processed at the supply yet. Uh, so uh, in here, you can edit any of the details that you wish to. So let's go around the screen and just have a look. This is the area that the goods are going to come out of. So if your supplier has multiple branches, this is the branch that the goods are going to come from. You'll enter your supplier or your customer order in here, sorry. And then once you submit the order, you'll get a packing slip number, which represents that the supplier has received the order and it's in their system. So now you have a couple of options here. You can store the items. Now what this does is it stores it in the background, but the supplier can see that you've stored an order. So it just means that they can see the order in the system, but they cannot process it until you recall the order, add or edit the order, and then uh, submit the order. That's the, only after you've submitted the order can they actually process it. Uh, you can also generate an order. This is a great new feature. So if I click on Gen Order, uh, basically I can pick a, a range of time. So I can say, look at the last three months of purchases that I've made from this supplier, and then I can get a list of those products either with zero quantity or with an average over the period. In other words, if it's three months, it will divide it by three, and it'll generate what you would see as a monthly order perhaps, and then you can go in and edit that. You're not committing to anything when you're doing this, so you can be safe to just have a look at it, and if you like, delete it, otherwise you can edit it and submit the order or the sum of the period, which would be the quantity for the entire three months usage that you've uh, purchased off the supplier. So that's a great uh, little thing. Let's have a look at that. Okay, 144 products. Okay. And there's the order. So you can see it's generated quite a large order there, and it's got suggested order quantities based on what you've purchased over the last three months. And also, uh, depending on the settings, the supplier may automatically uh, put it on uh, back order if, uh, if it's not supplied, but you can just go in there and you can zero that 
and any items with a zero quantity won't be sent in the order to the supplier. The check price and availability, so if you've changed some details here, or if you've had this order stored and recalled, or you've had it on the screen for some time, before you actually process the order or send the order off to the supplier, you can click check price and availability, and what that does is it goes through, goes back to the supplier, checks what's available now, uh, and any prices that have been changed, and rewrites it on the screen for you. So the information here as far as what's available is up to date. Before actually submitting the order, uh, if you wish, you can type in a career that you'd wish it to go by, or you can type in a message saying that the order's urgent or wait for more items to come in. You can import the order. Uh, this is where you're using Peach software for your system. Uh, and you can generate a supplier order from Peach software and then you can import that order straight into Peach Online. So um, as you know, Peach Software provides software for retailers or the point of sale stores, uh, workshops, wholesalers, importers, manufacturers. Uh, so there's a lot of customers out there who may be using Peach Online who are actually using Peach Software for their back end system. So in that case, as I said, they can generate an order in Peach Software and then they can import that order directly into Peach Online. Also, if you're not using Peach software, we uh, make it available that you can import a CSV file, which just needs a product and quantity, the part number and quantity, remembering that the part number would have to match what's in the supply system. So that's a nice, easy way to get a supplier order out of any other system into Peach Online. So just also remember that your order may be several pages. Here, the, there's 145 lines in an order. Not all 145 are being displayed here, so you can go to the next page, the next page, uh, and back. So just remember there are other pages available if you scroll through. Uh, you can resort the order, so sort by part number, okay, and that way when you send the order off to the supplier, it will be in part number order. Not necessary, but you can if you wish. If you're on a line and you want to add another product, you will move the lines down and you can add a new product there or you can go to a line and you can delete that line if you wish. All very simple. And then you can simply submit the order. Now again, as I mentioned at the start, uh, depending on your supplier settings, they may have a different flavour of Peach Online. So I'm going to show you some of the different tabs that are available. So you may log in and it may go straight to the specials tab. So these are specials that the customer, the supplier has put on special for you. This can be changed on a daily, weekly, hourly basis, uh, as they wish. Uh, so uh, to order one of those specials, just uh, select the quantity, add to checkout, and that's done. So now if I go into the checkout, you can see I've added those products to the order. So go back to specials here. Uh, another tab that uh, may come up is the express parts tab. Now in the express parts tab, this is the result of a list of products that the supplier has made specifically for you. Uh, perhaps they think that you may be buying these products from other suppliers and they'd like to promote these products to you. They may have special pricing in here, which would be indicated by a star in this column here, uh, but that's the express part. So all you need to do is go down and put in the quantities and then add to order. And those order, those products have been added to the checkout tab, as you can see here. So again, don't be concerned that this is actually a submitted order. This order is still here for you to be editing, editing and changing or deleting products, changing quantities if you wish. Nothing has been submitted to the supply yet. So there you have it. There's a few features about Peach Online that you can use for dealing with your supply. It may save you some time and time is money after all. Uh, but if you have any questions, call your supplier first, or if you forget your username and password, call your supplier. Uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, if you have any problems, let them know and they'll contact us and we'll assist in making sure that all the customers can log in successfully. So thanks for watching and I hope that helps you.